What is good guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel and welcome back to another video and today it's gonna be kind of like a different video because I don't think I've ever done a video like this because today I'm gonna share with you guys my current morning routine to set myself up for success during the day. Like I said, I don't think I've ever done videos like this but well, you guys know me, you guys know that I'm always posting fitness content, whether it's training, nutrition, lifestyle, vlogs, etc. But I am really into self-development and self-improvement and I am constantly trying to improve myself and doing everything that I need to do in order to just keep improving and evolving as a person. And one of those things is having routines and one of those routines is my actual morning routine. Now, I am in no way saying that my current morning routine is the best. I'm just sharing with you guys my current morning routine because, well, it has really helped me for the past months to really be as productive as I possibly can and hopefully you guys will be able to get something out of it. Now. I'm gonna keep it very, very real. I'm not gonna fake anything. I'm not gonna say that I go out for a run at 4 a.m. when I don't. And I'm not gonna share things that I do maybe like once a month and pretend that it's my routine because, well, that's not my routine. That is just like one time thing. I'm gonna keep it very real and I'm gonna share with you guys what exactly am I doing every single morning or at least most mornings because, well, depending on a few different factors that I will talk about later in the video, my mornings can change but I'm gonna share with you guys how it looks most of the days and without further ado let's get into the video okay so my mornings usually start around 6 a.m. now that changes depending on the day and depending on what I'm doing first thing in the morning. So sometimes I will wake up, I will wake up at 5.30, maybe some other times I will wake up at 6.30, but on average, I would say I wake up usually around 6 a.m. One very important thing to point out here is that I, as soon as I turn off the alarm, I just get up and get going. I don't snooze, I don't procrastinate, and I don't even grab my phone and start scrolling on social media. As soon as the alarm starts, I just turn it off and I get up. Now that we are up, first thing is gonna be to take a shower. Now for me that is absolutely crucial to wake myself up and to just give me that boost of energy that I need first thing in the morning. Doesn't matter if I'm gonna go to the gym right after or doesn't matter what I'm gonna do. Honestly, I always need that morning shower in order to properly wake myself up and just, you know, start feeling alive. So now that we are showered and dressed, next step is gonna make the bed. There's this quote that says, if you want to change the world, start by making your bed, and I cannot agree more. more. The thing with making a bed is that it just, as soon as you're done with it, you have already completed the first task of the day, and it gives you that feeling of pride and fulfillment of completing things. And that sets you up to complete the next task, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So that first task that you completed in the morning, which was just making your bed, has turned into completing all your to-do list for the day. So now that we are done making the bed and we are all dressed up, it is time to go to the kitchen and make us some fuel, which obviously, if you guys know me, this is no surprise, which is gonna be some coffee. Now, hydration is absolutely crucial, so while I'm making the coffee, I'm gonna take down two full glasses of water to get myself some fluid, get myself properly hydrated after a full night of dehydration and not drinking. Well, as you're, when you're sleeping, your body keeps utilizing fluids, but you're sleeping, so you're not drinking anything. So first thing that you should do during the morning is just refill your body with water after that whole dehydration from the night. Now coffee is ready and we are back into the living room, into my couch and we are gonna get reading. Another thing that I find absolutely fundamental in order to keep evolving and growing and learning and just improving as a person is reading. So I like to start my mornings with 30 minutes of reading. It is a perfect way to wake my brain up and just start learning first thing in the morning. Like I said, absolutely crucial in order for self-improvement and self-development. And when you do it in the morning, number one, you just, you just get it done and you can just check it on your to-do list for the day. And number two, it just, once again, gives you that feeling of consistency and of fulfilling another task and just sets your mood right 
to get into the next one. Okay, we are done reading, so now we are on my desk, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is check my calendar to see what's happening today, and then create my to-do list for the day. That is one of the most useful things in order to skyrocket your productivity. If you don't have a clear list of what you need to accomplish during the day, you just don't really know what you're working towards to on every hour of every day. So what I like to do is just grab my little agenda right here. Yes, I just open it on the page of the day that it is, and I just write down a to-do list, still in chronological order of all the things that I want to accomplish during the day. And most of the times I set a, a time limit because that will create a sense of urgency and well, it will help you not procrastinate as much. Now, at this point, you will notice that I haven't mentioned this. That's because I really try to minimize my phone time first thing in the morning because I honestly find it a very, very bad habit to just be stuck to your phone as soon as you get up. I know a lot of people just turn off the alarm and then just grab the phone, start scrolling on, start scrolling on social media, but I never, ever, ever do that and that's why when I was talking about getting up and just um, well just turning off the alarm and just getting up that's what I meant I never scroll through uh, can't even speak I never scroll through social media first thing in the morning nor do I touch the phone for anything at all because honestly I think we live completely stuck with the phones and just completely addicted to them and we spend so much time looking at our phone screen that for me that is a no-go in the morning i will get myself ready and i will wake myself up do my little morning routine and then i will open my phone and check what's happening check social media check my clients uh, messages check my email maybe and just post my daily ig quote and if by the way you guys are not following me on ig what are you doing go follow me right now <laughs> next task it's gonna be making breakfast. Why did I not cook breakfast while I was making the coffee? Because honestly, as soon as I wake up, I'm not that hungry. So I could eat, yeah, but I, I like to wait a little bit more. So I get myself a bit hungrier and then I can take down my uh, breakfast, well, more easily and just basically enjoy it more. So at this point, I will go into the kitchen, just start making my breakfast, which at the moment is gonna be either overnight oats or most of the times, three toast with two slices of low-fat cheese, 60, 60 grams of ham, and a handful of cashews. And of course, another coffee, because at this point, the first coffee is gone. So now that we have breakfast ready, we are back on the table and we are taking it down while either listening to a podcast or watching some sort of useful and informational video. Because once again, I really am into self-development and self-improvement and I really like to maximize the productivity of my time. Now the final step, it's gonna be grab everything, go to the kitchen and just clean and wash everything because I absolutely hate the dirty kitchen and because I think that is also one of those tasks, just like making the bed, that really set you up and really give you that feeling of fulfillment that you get every time you complete a task and that gets you going and gets you in the mood to complete more tasks and one after the other. And finally, we are done with the morning routine. So now we can just get back to my desk and just start working. Now, like I said at the beginning, I am not saying that this is the best routine or the best morning routine. This is what I'm currently doing because it has really helped me to set my mindset right and get myself ready to smash it during the day. Because the truth is, I didn't always have a morning routine as most of us haven't um and that led to a lot of unproductive well i was gonna say not mornings but not really mornings like a lot of unproductive days and i was just letting the days run me instead of me running the days but that is part of the past now and now i have a really structured morning routine that to be honest it really helps me get myself ready for the day no matter where it's what's coming because i think it's just a, my, a matter of setting your mindset right in the morning so you are ready to smash every single hour of, of the day, no matter what happens. And my morning routine does just that. It just gets me 
energized, fueled, and just in the proper mindset to work very long hours and just work during the rest of the day and being as productive as you possibly can. Now, I would love if you guys would share in the comments what's your morning routine or if you guys do something in particular or very special that really helps you be more productive or be more energized or whatever it might be because, well, I would love to read what you guys do in the mornings. Anyways, this is gonna be pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys liked it. If you guys like these type of videos of like my morning routines or more of my day-to-day -day life and not just training and nutrition, please let me know down in the comments and I will for sure film more videos like this because I actually really enjoyed filming these videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, watching it as well. Don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to join the family if you haven't already. Thank you so much if you do and I'll see you in the next one.